what is up you guys thanks so much for tuning in today's video Kara here from K's Ways inspiring you to do it your way I am finally back guys it's been a minute since I recorded I'm so happy to sit down with you guys today and of course you read the title you know it we're testing out some new makeup products my favorite kind of videos to do we have the Vanessa Myrick's yummy skin serum foundation I, I have this uh, Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer I went ahead and placed that order from Charlotte Tilbury the day it came out well, actually, like the pre-sale, whatever situation she had going on. I have two bronzers on my face right now. So I have this one on one of these sides, guys. I'm not going to tell you which one. Let's see if you can guess. But I have another bronzer as well. I went ahead and picked up the NARS Laguna Bronzer Cream. And this one is in the shade 4. Um, in case I didn't say it, my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer is in the shade 10. So for both of them, I got the second to last deepest shade. Then we have the NARS Bronzer Cream in... Laguna 04. Again, two different bronzers on two different sides. Let me know what side is your favorite. Oh, I got a little freebie. I placed the order online. You'll hear all about it. But I got a little freebie from Patrick Ta. This is the Major Dimension Precision Gel Liner. So I went ahead and tried it out. It was new to me. Also new to me. Not maybe new to the market, but new to me. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Beaver Palette. I went ahead and tried that out. And then the star of the show, not really because I didn't even apply these on camera, but I do have an Instagram reel all about it. On my lips right now are the new Fenty Beauty. I picked up three out of four of the shades that came out. So these are the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Popsicle Hydrate and Lip Stain. And that is what I have on my lips. But if you want to see how everything came together, let's go ahead and get into this. Get ready with me. Try and make up, Sephora haul, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah. Don't wanna take it slow. Just wanna let you know. Ready to spend some time. All right, guys. So my eyes is already prepped. I, I did my brows already. I actually went in a little lighter with my brows instead of using a 4.5 in the Benefit Precisely my brow. I went in with the shade four. So that's the only difference. I did prep my lids for eyeshadow, and I want to go in with a more neutral eyeshadow. I was going to go a little bit colorful, but then I realized I'm going to be testing a couple of lip products. So I wanted to go a little more neutral, so I bust out this Natasha Denona Mini Bieber Palette. And that's what I'm going to try to use today. So taking my favorite, my Refer number 27 blending brush, I'm going to go in with this lighter, lighter coral shade here. And just take that into the crease. Get them in the crease. I'm going to go in with this next shade. Oh, a little bit more depth. It looks like the same shade but just a tad bit more depth so i'm just going to take this out back into the crease and focus on this outer portion as well actually this might be the lightest shade of the palette not the shade that i put on first but it's okay taking a brush that's a little bit more of a precise blending brush this is the refer 14 I'm going to go in with that deeper matte shade there which is and the I want to focus that on just this outer V part here. I'm taking that same uh, refer number one brush and I'm going back in with that second shade. Let's just put that shade all over. I'm just taking a little bit more of that dark shade. Why complicate life, right? Let's just use these three shades and call it a day. I have a little uh, Sephora bag here. And I did the same day order and there was something in here that I didn't order so I don't know if that was a mistake or if they um this is like a free gift with purchase but I have a Patrick Ta the major dimension precision gel liner and this is in the shade burgundy so uh, I figured let's use this and see what this is about so I've heard good things about these pencils and is that a way to get me to spend more money if I like it so this is what it looks like precision pencil looks brand new so Let's try it out. Why not? It's a burgundy gel liner. I'm not mad at that. Let me do the other eye. I'm in the mood to try a new mascara today. So I went ahead and pulled out this uh, Lancome Idol Let Lip. Lash Lifted Volumizing Mascara. It says Fanned Out Volume. This is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty. And as I always say, I have never met a Lancome mascara that I didn't like. So I'm ex actually really excited about this. Look at this one. It has like that little dip, like a curve. So I'm thinking that it'll like lift my lashes. Let's try this out. 
It's getting really close to the inner corner, which I like. Because not every mascara can get into my inner corner without making a mess. So, so far that's good. It's not like super richly pigmented black. But... All right, guys. So, I'm not mad at this. Okay. So, look. This is one, one coat of the last Idol mascara on my lashes. And I think it actually made a difference. Like, it combed it up really nicely. It didn't make a mess on my lid. My lashes do look lifted. I don't know how long they're going to stay that way. But for now, they do look lifted. It is a natural kind of black looking mascara, kind of wet because as I'm blinking, I'm feeling a little bit of the wetness. So that just may transfer. I have to be careful. Good thing allergies are not kicking my ass too much today. But yeah, that is the difference with one coat of the Lash Eye Doll Mascara. I'm not mad at it. This will be a nice everyday kind of mascara. I'm going to build it up again, see what another coat does. Alright, so that is the second coat of the mascara. I'm gonna leave it at that because I think that it was just like starting to get a little bit clumpy when I was coming towards that inner corner. Like this lash right here. I can kind of like, if I had a lash comb, I would brush that out, but I'm just gonna let it be. I just think I took some off actually when I touched it. But not bad at all. Like my lashes are lifted. They were combed through. I think the brush actually adheres to my lashes nicely. I actually felt like it was combing through my lashes not just like hitting them and coating it with mascara it's actually combing through it so i am not mad at this mascara like i said it's like an everyday kind of mascara i'm not saying like you know run out and buy it but if it's something that you would want to try cool i think i i think i like it so it's so far so good so let me go ahead finish up this other eye and then we're gonna come back and get into this thing but first i'm gonna go in with my fenty hydrating primer put some of this on my skin hydrate the skin I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown Color Corrector. This is in the shade Very Deep Disc. And I've really been enjoying this, guys. Like, I can just paint it on. In the spots where I need to color correct. And the best part about it is that I can blend it out with my fingers because it's just like so emollient, guys. It really is a good color corrector. They normally make good color correctors. I used to have the one in the pot really nice so. okay so now for foundation i went ahead and picked up this this is the yummy skin serum foundation i have mine in the shade 19g i'm on the danessa myrix website so i'm gonna read a little bit it says this lightweight hybrid foundation contains ingredients known to balance hydration and moisture while protecting the skin with free radical fighting antioxidants this nourishing formula addresses common skin concerns for comfortable everyday wear packaging is refillable the refill is sold separately it's a liquid formula medium buildable coverage radiant finish vegan and clean formulated with hyaluronic acid antioxidants and skin loving oils paraben free sulfate free cruelty free it's good for hyperpigmentation dryness dark circles uneven texture fine lines and wrinkles balancing sebum and it's good for the dry oily combination normal acne prone sensitive and mature skin type so it's basically good for everybody supposedly it says 96 percent of the panelists that the foundation provides even buildable coverage 90 percent of the panelists said that this foundation provides the perfect amount of coverage 90% of the panelists said the foundation evened out their complexion. 86% said it corrected the discoloration on their skin. Oh, I should, maybe I shouldn't color correct it. But there's a lot of claims on here. I'm not going to read them all, but I will definitely link this page down in my description box below if you want to go there and read more about it. Pretty much everything that I just read there is on the box though, so <laughs> that's that. And then for ingredients, if you are interested in the ingredients, you can go ahead and screenshot that and check that out. So it says shake and squeeze out a pea-sized amount for even smooth coverage. This is the component that the foundation comes in. And this part is plastic because that's a squeezy refillable tube. Okay, so you twist that part off and it's a little squeeze tube thing. It says a pea-sized amount. Maybe that's too much. I don't know, but that's what it looks like. Um, hopefully it's a good shape match. Let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna take my uh, Sonya G Jumbo Base Brush. Oh wow, okay. So one dip into the foundation on this brush <laughs> basically covered up so much of my skin. It's not even funny. Maybe I should've went with 18G. Maybe this one is just a little bit too deep, but it may end up working out good for the summer. But this one is more of a warm undertone for sure. Hopefully, once we put on concealer and everything, that'll balance out. But that is this side of my face covered with the Yummy Skin Foundation in 
in the shade 19G. She said a piece of his amount. She wasn't playing because the coverage on this is no joke. And I am taking it under there because they said discoloration under the, under the eyes. Let me take my sponge and just go over it because it just is feeling kind of... It is going to be a dewy finish so I can see why. But it's giving me like a lot of shine. So I'm going to try to tone that down because I don't know foundations that give that kind of finish like that for some reason it just feels like it's sitting there as opposed to becoming one with the skin this is the first foundation in a while that has covered up that dark circle that I have there on my forehead so the coverage is definitely there um let me take the sponge and apply it on this side and see if I like that better and it's giving me like a not tea tree oil it's giving me some kind of like herby scent this definitely covered up that this definitely covered up that spot though i'm excited so guys what you think this is the yummy skin foundation from Vanessa myricks definitely leaves a glow on the skin all right so this is giving me what was it the nars I think it's the NARS foundation that I said it was giving me texture like down here and this Vanessa Myricks Yummy Skin Foundation is definitely giving me that same vibe but in the video that I did where I did test the NARS foundation and told you guys about the texture that I was seeing before that was before I set with powder so hopefully when I set with powder that will go away <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer in the shade Tan should we do a side by side let's do a side by side just because um i started filming a three-day wear test video for this cream bronzer i just haven't finished it yet i didn't i never did day three <laughs> so that video will be coming but being that I'm in today's haul, i went ahead and picked up another cream bronzer which is and that one is coming from nars this is the nars laguna 04 bronzer let's try them both out so you guys can see it's been a minute since i did a video so let's do it all at one time I like to test out no makeup with you guys, but this is the packaging on that NARS. And we love, love NARS. So I, I was really excited to see that they came out with this. And that is what the cream bronzer is looking like. It looks nice and rich. That's what it looks like swatched. Oh, that feels good. So that is the NARS cream bronzer there. I'm excited to put on my face. But since we're here swatching, let me just give you guys a swatch of this one as well. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury in the shade tan. Here's what the bronzes look like side by side. This one is definitely looking a little bit more light, but let's see. I was swatched way too much, but that is what uh, 03 looks like. And that is a swatch of it down there. So we have the NARS Laguna 04 and then tan 03. I personally prefer to use a sponge when applying my cream product. So on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and with the Charlotte Tilbury. So that there is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I was kind of considering getting the bronzer shade in 04 just to see the difference of it because this one is more like a, a natural bronze for me, which is why I wanted to go ahead and pick up this NARS Laguna. I like like a range of different kind of bronzes. If every one of my bronzes are the same shade, it really doesn't make sense to have them. So that's why I do sometimes get lighter bronzes. I get deeper bronzes and all type of things. You'll see in the full video that I do of the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, um, you will see a different range of bronzes that I have because I have the Danessa Myricks, I have the Huda, I have the Fenty Beauty. There might be a few more in there. So, but anyway, new stuff. So, this is the NARS Laguna 04. I'm taking the other side of the sponge. And let's see what this one looks like. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. This one looks a little bit like more like I was in the sun on the beach. That's what this side is giving me. Like, I feel like this one is just a little bit more neutral where it's not giving me bronze, it's giving me 
almost like just a little bit of shading, which shading for me would be more contourish, not really bronzing. Over here is giving me, I've been kissed by the sun bronzing, you know? Tell me if y'all see the difference that I'm talking about. Ooh, this smells good. This bronzer smells good. It smells like I need to go on a vacation. <laughs> They're giving, Nars is giving us the experience, y'all. Wait a minute. I didn't smell anything when it came to the short tilt, baby. Nah, this just smells like makeup. <laughs> like Play-Doh makeup. But this, I was like, wait a minute, what does this smell? And I like this, guys. This is pretty, I'm so glad I got this. I'm so glad I got this, guys. You know, I get excited. I get excited with stuff like this. Let me go ahead and put some more. All right, guys, so this side is the Nars bronzer. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I, yeah, I think y'all can tell which one I like already. I like this side. I like the north side. Here we have Charlotte Tilbury or the right side. And again, like I said, it could be just a shade thing. I feel like maybe I do need that 04 to bring the warmth into my skin. But this is giving me more like contour, neutral, everyday kind of bronzer. So, I mean, there's a time and place for everything, but. I want a bronze, I want to look sun-kissed, I want to look glowy, y'all know how I like it, so this is giving me all the vibes right now, I'm feeling that, taking a little bit of that uh, bronzer on my brush. All right, I almost forgot that I didn't put on concealer as of yet because I put the foundation underneath and yeah, it does cover, but I need a little bit more coverage. I know I need some brightness going on. Um, I don't have a new concealer. Y'all know I've been worn out this, um, <laughs> this LYS concealer. I love these concealers, but um, I, lately I've been going in with these two mix. This is the one size turn up the base concealer. I have mine in the shade D2. And then this one is the NARS Ultra Creamy. So, total different opposite sides of the spectrum. This one will dry so fast on you, but it gives such a good coverage and I love the finish of this. And this I'm just basically trying to use. So I prefer to mix this with a hydrating concealer and that's how that came up. So I'm gonna take this deeper concealer towards the outside and a little bit above my mouth here. Cause while the foundation is pretty full coverage, I just do prefer more coverage over there, so. I'm gonna take this lighter concealer, the Tarte concealer, take that. Take my beloved Say powder. I've been using the mess out of this powder. This is called the Say Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder. I have mine in the shade Translucent Green. I'm going to first set underneath my eyes, but I am going to take the same setting powder all over my face. And just whatever's left in the cap, I'm just gonna take on a large brush and just tap in. All right, y'all, so I am back with my finished face. I didn't put on any blush or highlighter or anything. I just wanted to see how this foundation looks and wears by itself. I finished up underneath my eyes. I went in with my normal, my Pat McGrath, whatever her black liner is. I went up with that under my lower lash line. But I did also put on more of that Patrick Ta, the Major Dimension Precision Gel Liner. This was a freebie. I, I love me a good freebie, so, and I kind of like this um, underneath the eyes as well. It adds just a little bit, you know, a little something, something, a little smokiness about it. I don't think this is like perfect for my waterline. I did try to do it on the waterline. Uh, it wasn't given the way I wanted it to give, so that's why I ended up going on top of it with my black. Pat McGrath liner, that Lash Idol, the mascara that I used from Lancome. I told you guys, I never met a mascara from Lancome that I did not enjoy. And this one is no different. First of all, the packaging is everything. I like that. And it did really good underneath my lower lashes as well. It separated everything, kind of elongated them, and gave it a little bit of smokiness. I'm liking this vibe a lot, actually. So this is something that I'll definitely be continuing to use. I am glad that I tried it out. So I'm not mad at that mascara. Actually, I don't think, I, again, this is another successful trying new makeup. Now, when it comes to this uh, Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Foundation, again, I picked mine up in the shade 19G. 
and I don't think this is a bad match at all especially uh, with the warmer months coming I am gonna get a little bit more color and I think this is a pretty good match I like the way it wears when I had applied it I told you guys I was seeing a little bit of texture down underneath here and that has kind of diminished I mean I can still see a little some some here but you know I'm human right <laughs> so everybody's skin has texture it is what it is from a distance it looks really good so yeah when uh with this foundation it actually gave me the vibes of I don't know if I have it up here but that NARS light reflecting I'll link a video up above in the card so you guys can check it out but it's really giving me the vibes of that it's giving me glowy but after set it's still looking like skin it looks really really good so I am enjoying this so far so good with this foundation I think it has really really nice coverage actually it may have a little bit more coverage than the NARS from what I'm remembering really good coverage you don't need to use a lot of the product and it sits really nice on the skin now that I had went ahead and pushed it in with my uh, sponge and everything so yeah that really nice oh let's talk about the elephant in the room the lips guys the lips so I just finished filming an Instagram reel on these new lippies from Fenty Beauty these are the Fenty Beauty Help Sickles Hydrating Lip Stain the one that I have on my lips now is in the shade Berry Banger guys like I literally just finished filming the reel I just got this stuff that was the last products that was in the bag that I had there from the haul. So this one is very banger. That's what I have here on my lips. Actually, I have all three of them swatched here. Yeah. This is very banger swatch. Those are swatches of the three shades that I got. Um, definitely check out that Instagram reel if you're interested in seeing how all three of those shades look on my lips. I'll, I'll put the direct link to that Instagram reel that I'm posting on Instagram. I'll put it down in the description box so you can check all those out on my lips. Um, if it's really really comfortable guys i don't think this is going to be something that's going to be like necessarily transfer proof but i will say it is definitely a stain because as i was trying to change the colors in between swatches that original color that first color that i had put down it definitely stained i'm wearing berry banger with a mac lip liner in night moth so that's what i have on my lips it's very very comfortable guys like, it just really feels like a nice moisturizing balm guys so i'm i'm digging it Definitely not transfer proof because you can see where I just kissed my hand. But I can see as this wears off, it's still going to leave you with a nice color. And that's basically a stain is what it's called. So on the eyes, you know, to maybe use that Natasha Denona Mini Beaver Palette. Nice little neutral eye look that we have going on there. I'm not mad at it. I didn't want to do too much. And actually, I like this finished look with this berry liner and then the... Um, the burgundy liner from at the top i'm digging that so i like the little eye look it's nice and natural right up my alley now this nars bronzer i am loving this like i just keep looking at the bronzingness going on over here if i wanted to i can go ahead and take a brush and actually go over and add a little bit more if i wanted a little bit more depth not lifting up anything underneath the foundation i really enjoyed it um down the bridge of my nose as well that is like such a really nice bronzer and i'm gonna be using this nars bronzer like crazy y'all really liking that and i'm happy that i went ahead and picked up first of all i seen when these came was released last year but i was like oh i have so many cream bronzers who am i fooling i want all the bronzers right so i'm so glad that they re-released this i think last year it was like supposedly limited edition but it only had like one or two shades now they actually have this one is 04 so they have five shades because i picked the one that is second to last deepest shade so they have five shades of this as far as the charlotte tilbury i'm still kind of gathering my thoughts on this bronzer i'm gonna do the same thing on this side i just wipe off that brush i'm gonna do the same thing on this side i just feel like when this one when you build this one up i just feel like it kind of can get a little bit muddy and then also that um neutrally undertone that it's giving me it's like like i said it adds more of a shadow as opposed to adding like the warmth that i'm looking for in a bronzer like i don't know if you can see this just looks like bronze juiciness and then this i mean it doesn't look bad but you see how i said when you build it up it can look a little bit muddy so i do prefer to go over it with a with a sponge this one, I didn't even have to go over with this one. It blends so nicely, it builds so nicely. So that is really, really pretty, guys. So there you have it. That is all of the new makeup products that I tested out today. Let me know your thoughts on these products. Have you tried any of these products? Do you have your eye on any of these products? You know, I wanna know. Let's talk about it down in the comment section below. 
If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you give it a thumbs up. That helps me out greatly and it lets other people know that they should be watching this video as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up a couple of videos here on the screen for you guys, just in case you missed a couple of my recent uploads. I know it's been a while since I uploaded, but you may have missed a couple, so I'm gonna put them here on the screen for you guys to check out. And if you're not a subscriber already, you're gonna see my face like right around here somewhere. Make sure you hit that face there, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified when I do upload another video. And yeah, I hope to catch each and every one of you on the next video. Until next time, y'all stay blessed. Later, guys.